Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. We are on the 4th of, you guess what, November. In a day's time, the US elections will be out. But guess what? We are also in less than a month or some few weeks for Robin Amaron to be Manchester United manager. And so in this video, we will tell you guys five things we learned from the game Manchester United 1, Chelsea 1. What can Robin Amorim fix in Manchester United? What he must fix in order to be slightly successful? That's how I'm going to use these five things we learned today. So guys, drop your comment below. Tell me your points. What are the main issues which you know we have to improve moving forward? And uh, yeah, I would love to read it and re reply to your text. But let's go with number one. Number one is that, look, those days for that we have we need Van Steroy to come and be a goal scorer we need Rashford we need a Rooney to wait for them to score we need a Beckham cross it's over Manchester United has to have an identity a playing style I think that was the key reason why we went for Amaron we need a ball we'll need a playing style we need to identify who we are at the moment we don't have one we just play by mistake by impulses and actions there is no definitive the definitive way manchester united plays there is a way we wanted to play ten Hag came to, came to manchester united he came with a with a plan that he wanted to use but obviously he didn't have the players and this brings me back to the point i'll go number two but let, let me stay with this number one fact. Manchester United, we need to start getting players to play in a certain system. I will I listen to a podcast from the Athletic, right? The guys from Athletic. Uh, and they, they really emphasize on a very important point of Manchester United bringing in players that will be not only for Amaron, but to managers in future in case things don't work. So we know that Amaron, how does he play? He plays with a three back defender, four midfielders and a three attacker. So this is the kind of players we need to be. We need a very good back leg, a left back, um, which I'm going to tell you guys later. But in regards to the game of Chelsea yesterday, one of the biggest weakness we had going into Chelsea's game, the first 20 minutes, we were just all over the place. Manchester United, we didn't play as a team the first 20 minutes. And this is very troublesome when you see that we just came from winning five goals to two against a weaker Leicester team. And um, we couldn't express ourselves more. And uh, I mean, we couldn't identify the way we want to play with Chelsea. So I think our playing system is very important. And that leads me up to number two. Number two, the biggest problem United we have, in num which I would say with number two, is um, we should stop that identity. And they call it in politics, identity politics, when you talk about black, white, Hindus, Spanish in politics. But since we're in football, identity football is when you are loyal to a player, but not to the club and the system. And I am very very i can very million times worried of the way you the fan base you are more loyal among players this when when cristiano ronaldo left manchester he took away one of most of his fans away from manchester united your loyalty has to be with the club your loyalty and the club's loyalty has to be with a system with a system tell me if i am wrong that we don't need a system we want to just need to throw expensive players and they should play the way they want real madrid tried that with the Galatasos, it didn't work with the Zidans. They didn't win any, they won some major things because they were really, really the top, the la, la creme, la creme, but it doesn't really work. It's not a long term, it's not a sustainable uh, way of managing football when you just bring players and play freestyle football. Marcus Rashford should be, a, if Marcus Rashford doesn't fit the way Pep Guardiola wants to play, he should be sold. So United, I think we will move forward only when we address that very carefully i saw that in the chelsea game and many clubs who have uh, have a, just a, a tiny a decent players we will take advantage of us because we don't have a playing style because we have players who play the way they want from themselves they have periods so ganacho has the ball he wants to shoot bruno similar marco similar so i mean that, that my biggest worries will be the way Amarim is going to treat Bruno Fernandes. He will have to um, identify himself as a neutralist because if he goes on the players and try to be so friendly, that will be the beginning of his end so quickly. So um, it brings me up to another superstar in that game, which is Marcus Rashford. Rashford is a player we know his strength, his pace. It's not the best reading of the game. He plays only. He plays better on the left. But now he has a, a, a competition with Ganacho. In my honest assessment of Marcus Rashford, he should fight for a win at the left. He should, If he's not ready to help in the defensive work, if he's not ready to be a player who 
is going to be going to matter in the way we want to play then it will be useless for us to use marcus rashford in manchester united we have to cash on him if united are not ready to build a football club this is i mean the whole video is about that idea of building a, an identity then we have to say, uh, um, separate with uh, players which i go i guess most of you more want, more want but but look as tunde joy said before that our problems we haven't had a, a, a good left back for a while and that brings me up with lisandro martinez lisandro martinez is a player who's good on the ball he is not the quickest player and you know in the modern game when we have when we're I mean, playing at the wing right the back wing you have to have that pace the delos the mazari Lisandro isn't the slowest player at the same time he can play as a left back he can play three in the back he can play as a center he can even play as a six but um, those are positions that also have some security but putting him as a lone left back i think it's an issue this year united needs to buy a left back we have to cash in on luke shaw if someone comes with a 10 15 million from luke shaw we just need to close the deal and cut our losses luke shaw you cannot count on such a player who is just uh, unfortunately glass let me call it spell in spade so um uh, that, that, uh the game against chelsea sorry guys it's a bit hot here in my hotel i closed the window and it's winter look you can you can you can just come into a club like manchester united and you want to be um you want to do freestyle football this is my main point here there are many aspects in which we need to improve and one of the biggest aspects is the way we position ourselves we have uh, uh, alluded to you guys already that so uh, uh, Amorin, Robert Amorin is a fan of the 3-4-3 but I think with Manchester United he will be only successful if he get the players that he wants. We have heard he's interested to bring in some sporting players but look you might be kidding yourself if you think this is it. It could only be in the summer and hence which means bringing in new players means some players need to leave who are the players who are going to leave we'll know that even in this in, in january but you know uh that that's where we are and um uh also we i know i know you might say rap but the midfielder and everything the biggest problem with manchester united this season i have said is not even scoring goals it is the biggest problem we have had is us controlling games it, because when you can control games properly the goals will come it is true very very true that we have been the uh, we have missed a lot of opportunities this is the fact but i think our biggest problem in manchester united today if we cannot manage to build a club of players who fit a certain system who are ready to be loyal on that system then i think we should go so guys please tell me what you think below i want to end minutes or the time i will end this on eight minutes because these are the five things i learned in that game against manchester united one chelsea one that manchester united we have a team uh, of players who are so individual who are not ready to sacrifice their personal interest for the club and if we are not ready to draw a line on such players then uh, Ruben Amarion will be here for maximum two years he will have to go and coach another team because I think the biggest problem Manchester United Football Club is not necessarily the coaches who come inside the club is the culture that has been built inside and if uh, Inos group wants to be respected and also want to be successful manchester united they need to break that spell of the way players think they must have an advantage over uh, what we want uh, uh in the football club so smash a like on the video get involved with the united way tv thanks for all of you subscribing please subscribe if you haven't yet click the bell because we go we go live anytime we want but uh we'll be doing live streams maybe by the end of the year when th we must have set to somewhere and uh, yeah so without said guys talk to you soon bye bye